Hello and welcome to Excel Video 282. I'm Nate Moore. I had a conference call today planning one of the presentations that I'm making at MGMA's annual conference in October in San Antonio. It's going to be a great conference. If you aren't registered to go, I'd love to see you there. Sign up. What we're going to do today is an easy video. Now that we have data and we can move things in and out of a pivot table, rows and columns, now I've got um, all these goofy names for referring physicians. But let's say I want to sort them just because I, I have them this way and it's sorted alphabetically by the name of the physician. What if I wanted to sort the sum of the column in, in, of this column instead? Which you can do from the options menu in the pivot table tools. And again, in order to get this menu, you've got to be inside the pivot table. When I'm outside the pivot table, the menu disappears. It's context sensitive. Once Excel thinks I need the menu, there it is. I'm inside the pivot table. I get the menu. I'm going to go to sort. And what I'm going to do is just the easy ones today. I'm going to sort A to Z. And notice that I'm, if you're familiar with the sorting in Excel, normally you're used to, hey, I better select the entire range of data or I'm going to scramble my data. You're familiar with that? Not in a pivot table. Excel gets that a pivot table is one complete package. And when you sort one piece, you sort it all. So if you notice the oath of the Horatii is the one and a half million. If we sort Z to A, the one and a half million goes to the top and there is the oath of the Horatii. You don't have to select the whole area to sort and you can sort based on the context of where you are. If I want to sort this A to Z, I can sort here. If I want to sort this A to Z and put the lowest numbers on top, that, now I've got the lowest number on top, the oath of the Horatii went down to the bottom. It's easy to go A to Z and Z to A based on the column you're in is how Excel decides which way I'm going to sort. What works in rows will work in columns. So let's do, oh, let's do diagnosis code. We'll put the diagnosis code over here. And if I click out of the way so you can see, I just have head, shoulders, knees, toes, eyes, ears, mouth, nose, all those different diagnosis codes. And from here, I can do the same thing. If I click here and sort A to Z, that's what I'm going to have in Z to A. Now I'm going to get toes and shoulders and stuff like that. If I want to go here instead, I can go A to Z this way or Z to A and this goes Z to A to Z. It's all sensitive to where I am. Now I want to show you one more thing. Notice here, if I want to know the largest value overall, I would click in the grand total and go Z to A. And there it is. Now let's scroll back over here. If I wanted to know just for I's the biggest total, I can click here, any place in the I's column, and it will go Z to A, A to Z. Now I want to see it by ears, Z to A, A to Z. You see how wherever I am is where the sorting works. It'll work in the row labels, in the column labels, in the individual columns, or in the grand total column. And we can go A to Z, Z to A. You can sort whichever way you want to go based on where your sorting starts. Very powerful ways to sort data in pivot tables without the trouble of selecting everything like you're used to in Excel. Stay tuned next time. This sorting works great when it's A to Z and Z to A. What if you want to manually sort and put something on top that doesn't go A to Z or Z to A? Maybe it's the order your physicians joined the practice. It's a seniority thing. Maybe it's a geographic order. Maybe it's the order the locations were opened as opposed to A to Z or Z to A. We can sort things manually. We'll do that next time. Thanks for watching.